I will uh, start by uh, creating a new uh, directory and uh, this will be the sixth project in the Python genetic uh, algorithm series and uh, number three in the class scheduling uh, one so let's uh, go here and copy this from here Uh, we need to add this uh, instructor availability table so it will have an instructor ID and a meeting time uh, ID and we will populate it here and uh, let's go ahead and create uh, the database and uh, next let's uh, copy this uh, python uh, file and uh, rename it to uh, scheduler and uh, we need to uh, add this uh, conflict uh, class and let's go ahead and uh, import this since we're uh, using it uh, here So this uh, class represents uh, scheduling uh, conflicts and in addition to uh, the instructor booking uh, conflict and the room booking one and number of uh, students one we're adding uh, this one the instructor availability conflict so it will uh, check instructor availability scheduling conflicts against the table that we uh, just uh, added this one so the constructor takes in a conflict uh, type which would be one of those and which uh, classes this uh, conflict is in between and we have get uh, methods for uh, those two and the two string method uh, returns uh, conflict type and the classes that this uh, conflict is in between and let's go ahead and uh, update uh, this one so we uh, added uh, this 
one select instructor availability that goes against uh, the instructor availability table and we're calling it uh, here So uh, let's go to the instructor uh, class and uh, update it. So we need to add the availability. And a uh, get method for uh, that. And uh, let's go through the various uh, domain uh, classes. So the course class will uh, stay the same. And uh, the room class uh, also. And uh, meeting uh, time uh, one. and uh, the department and the class uh, one and let's go back here to the population uh, class so let's uh, rename this Let's update the schedule to make uh, use of the conflict uh, class. So here we're handling uh, seating capacity conflict. And uh, here instructor availability uh, conflict and here uh, room booking uh, one and uh, instructor booking uh, conflict and the genetic uh, algorithm uh, class will uh, stay the same and let's add this uh, flag so that the application can uh, run in uh, verbose or uh, default uh, mode and uh, let's uh, update this uh, display uh, manager So now we have this uh, display schedule uh, meeting times from the meeting time uh, perspective and display the schedule from the room perspective and uh, from the instructor perspective. And displaying the schedule uh, conflict.
and uh, let's uh, update the code uh, here adding uh, command line entry and ability to run in uh, verbose and uh, default uh, mode and uh, let's go ahead and uh, test run the application so uh, this is the available uh, data that we picked up uh, from the database so we have uh, those uh, department and those courses in each one of those uh, departments and for each one of the courses we have the maximum number of uh, students and the instructors that are qualified to teach that uh, course and here we have the rooms that are available and the maximum seating capacity for each uh, room and here the instructors that are uh, available and the availability of each one of those uh, instructors so for example uh, this one is available on Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 9 to 10 and from uh, 10 to 11 etc and this is available uh, meeting time and let's go ahead and run in uh, verbose mode and find uh, the fittest uh, schedule so we went for uh, 44 uh, generations and we started uh, with this uh, generation 0 which had uh, this schedule with the best uh, fitness so it had uh, four uh, conflicts an instructor availability one so uh, this instructor one is only available for meeting time uh, one and two and he is uh, not available for meeting time uh, three and we have uh, three number of uh, students uh, conflicts and we went for uh, 44 uh, generations until we found uh, this uh, schedule with uh, zero conflicts and this is a table representation of that uh, schedule so uh, this is that uh, schedule from the class uh, perspective and uh, from the time schedule perspective so from 9 to 10 we have those uh, classes scheduled and from 10 to 11 those etc and from the room perspective so room 1 has this uh, class uh, scheduled and room 2 has uh, those 4 uh, classes on meeting time uh, 1 2 3 and uh, 4 and room 3 has those 2 classes uh, scheduled and from the instructor perspective We have this uh, instructor available on meeting time 1 and uh, 2 and he's uh, scheduled for this uh, class in meeting time 1 and this instructor is available for those uh, 3 meeting times and he's uh, scheduled for uh, this one and uh, those uh, 2 are available for all meeting uh, times and uh, let's 
go ahead and test run uh, this with a uh, different uh, database so we'll uh, run this one to create uh, uh, new database and uh, run this one again so now we have uh, this additional uh, departments and we added uh, this uh, class here and uh, here we're specifying the instructors that are uh, qualified to teach those uh, courses and we added a room with a max seating capacity of uh, 40 students and we have those are the instructors and their availability so we added one instructor and we still have the same meeting uh, times so if we find the fittest uh, schedule we found a solution after this number of uh, generations so from the class uh, perspective this is each one of the courses and uh, when they're uh, scheduled and the instructor that is uh, teaching them and the room etc and from the time schedule perspective so on monday wednesday friday from 9 to 10 we have those uh, three classes uh, scheduled etc and from the room perspective so room one doesn't have any classes uh, scheduled in it and those rooms have those uh, classes and from the instructor perspective so this uh, instructor is uh, available for those three time slots and he's uh, scheduled in uh, two of them and this one for those uh, three and he's uh, scheduled for all three of them and this one for those uh, three and he's scheduled for two of them and this one is scheduled for this one and this one is available all the times so he's uh, scheduled for those uh, two classes. 